This is baby Joshua. He was born just over a week ago at this makeshift shelter under a bridge in San Pedro Sula. His mother, 23-year-old Fabiola Uloa, tells us her family lost everything during Hurricanes Ada and Iota, two powerful back-to-back -back storms that flooded the city last month. We've been here for more than a month now. Eight days ago, my baby was born inside this tent. It was very hard. I was expecting to go to a hospital, but I had no choice but to give birth here. Ada and Iota were two of the strongest storms of 2020 in one of the most active Atlantic hurricane seasons in recorded history. The impact of the storms in Honduras has been particularly devastating. Bridges and power lines collapsed, roads buried under mudslides, and entire towns flooded. Many are still underwater more than a month since the first storm hit. Geraldina Lara says she hadn't finished clearing the mud from the first storm when the downpours from Hurricane Iota flooded her home for a second time. I think other people suffered more than myself. I thank God because even though I have nothing left inside my home, the four walls are still standing and that's something. Honduras is one of the poorest countries in the Americas. The destruction left by the storms has exacerbated an already critical situation and complicated efforts to curb the COVID-19 outbreak here. Relief workers say international assistance has become more important than ever and warn that in many ways the crisis is still worsening. Uh, we need to have that emergency relief aid. We need to take care of those families that are completely displaced, whose homes have been completely destroyed. Um, and it's not a small number. We're talking about thousands upon thousands of families, and they need food and they need some shelter, interim shelter uh, and medicine. The Honduran government says state shelters are at capacity, meaning that thousands are now left to fend for themselves on the streets. Any hopes they have left now depend on the kindness of others who are willing to lend a hand. Manuel Rapalo, Al Jazeera.